And welcome to Ozarks Live. Thank you for joining us today. Yeah, good to have you on this Monday. It's going to be a short week because of holiday. I'm pretty excited. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm be, you, know, you came in here like all of you, something pushed your button somewhere. I got all shook up yeah. back there. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. so uh, I go back to the ladies' room to put on a little lipstick and do what I can before I go on television. And I'm listening to KSMU radio, right? Okay. I love, I'm an NPR junkie. I am a public radio nerd if there ever was one. Mm -hmm. And I could have sworn I heard um, someone make the mention of a cranberry sauce that included horseradish. What? I know. That was my point. And I was sort of mortified meets fascinated. And so I Googled it. And it gets better. This is the other thing I thought I heard. It's Susan Stamberg's mother in law's recipe. I believe it is. The correspondent, Susan Stamberg yeah, yeah. with the voice. I love her. Um, so I researched it. And I might, might either make some for later in the week or we'll, it, we'll discuss this further. But have any of you in the audience? Ever made a cranberry sauce with um, horseradish? Maybe, maybe accidentally when they got mixed up together. You, you're, we're going to have to look at that. I'm really excited. We're going to look I because it would disguise the taste of the cranberry sauce, so oh, maybe Tom. it works. Uh huh. Hey. <laughs> Might as well eat the can. All right, we have another winner for the Boot Daddy Boot a Day giveaway. Terrible. Ready for the winner? Huh? Ready? I'm okay, ready. here we go. Winner is Patricia. Laval, I hope I got that right. L E A V E L L. Congratulations. Or maybe to you. level. We're not positive. Level, yeah. Hey, uh, by the way, don't forget, PFI Western is giving away one pair of boots every day until Christmas. All you got to do, go to bootdaddy.com and register, and you can register multiple times. So don't forget to do that on the daily, and you Sweet. might win a pair of boots between now and Christmas. Yep. Got a lot of days left for that, so that's mm -hmm. a lot of boots. Okay, we have a great show for you guys today. You know the gorgeous flowers that sit on our table every week, like these right here. The creator behind those beautiful arrangements is here today to talk to us, show us some really beautiful holiday arrangements, Linda's flowers. Nice, and yeah. we know we haven't even celebrated Thanksgiving yet, but we have our friends from Silver Dollar City stopping by to talk about an old-time Christmas. But before we get to all that, here's what's on the radar. Okay, me first. I have a talker for the family Thanksgiving table. You ready for this? Uh -huh. um, estate planning, okay? Uh -huh. You know, be honest, things like end of life planning, it's not necessarily fun to talk about, but it's helpful uh -huh. if everybody in the family is on the same page regarding what, you know, one's final wishes are, what kind of funeral or memorial you prefer. Who gets the villa? Who gets the Swiss bank account? You know, you got to work that out when family's around and when maybe some of the families around that you don't want to know these things, <laughs> yeah. you do it your way. Uh, but just maybe so you're prepared. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can legit say you don't know, okay. but it just, here's something you're about to know. Uh -huh. Do not be surprised if a family member requests that their remains be made into a record album. Huh? I, you heard what? me right, a company, a company called And Vinally, get it like vinyl, And Vinally, will press your ashes into a vinyl record one teaspoonful per disc. This is according to an article in the Vintage News. Now the remains are sprinkled onto the raw piece of vinyl before it's pressed by the plates. I would assume so. Um, the presence... See them right there? Yeah. See the little bits of you? I do. Or whoever? The uh -huh. presence may be felt or heard in the form of a few extra pops and crackles. Huh. Okay? This will cost you, though, a minimum of $1,100, but for about $4,600, you can get luxury artwork for your album cover, RIV, get it, rest yeah, in vinyl. Yeah, 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 uh, but the standard package includes 30 discs. And get this, this can be a recording of anything you want. Your voice? Some original music. This is part of the company's website. <laughs> that makes you groove. feel right. Uh, beyond the groove. Uh, or even complete silence on your album to enhance the snap, crackles, and pops that your cremains provide. <laughs> and, and as you saw there, the company's slogan is live on from beyond the groove. Now, yeah. 
I think this is very interesting because imagine 30 family members get this album. Oh, they said if you use copyrighted music, that's on you. Yeah. Don't come to us if somebody gets angry, yeah. you know. But um, if everybody listens to it and the cracks and pops are in different parts of the album, <laughs> they're going to say they're talking to you different than they're that's talking it. to me from that's the it. great deal, you know. How about and that? if you play mine at 78, it'll be like row, row, row your boat. Or yeah, something. yeah. It's going right. to be fun. Okay. It's DIY party idea time. You know the one thing that spells family fun? Okay. That one thing that allows everyone visiting for the holidays to get together for a friendly, happy, cutthroat, just short of blood spilling bit of competition. <laughs> of course, I'm talking ping pong. Mm. The problem, no rec room. The solution? The ping pong door. No. Yes, it's a door. It's a ping pong table. It's a modern day miracle. Flip the central panel and boom, an ingenious solution to converting what is a fairly useless, useless barrier into a <laughs> battlefield for all ages. Sure, the table's a little smaller than regulation table tennis table, but beggars can't be choosers. What do you want? A egg in your beer? And just a suggestion, put out the challenge before you reveal the location of the contest, okay? If you use a closet door, you can severely hamper your opponent. You Depending know. on the size of the closet. Just say, yeah, yeah. Bathroom door. Not a walk-in closet. They'd be jumping in and out of the shower, <laughs> bathtub. So there. That's ingenious, like actually. Like I'm it. sitting here picturing where I would put the ping pong table in our house. The door that goes down the stairs. Yeah. That's the one. Coming up, it's time to hear about an amazing deal that our friends from Renewal by Anderson have for you. Yeah, don't go away. <laughs> our slide is just getting started.